Good afternoon. In my previous lecture, I was discussing about the problems on uh, finding the coordinates of uh, the point which divides the line in the ratio internally. Uh, certain uh, values are given in place of uh, m is to n. Uh, today I shall continue some few problems uh, which I can uh, discuss about uh, uh, another uh, form of the point which divides the line uh, or plane divides the line uh, whatever it is there let us see in the problems how these uh, calculations will behave. Uh, anyway in the first uh, chapter as far as we are discussing the analytical solid geometry uh, the values of all these uh, coordinates x, y, z will appear in uh, various forms especially to find out the uh, coordinates using uh, direction cosines and uh, using section formula and using distance formula. All these formulas will play the major role in handling different situations of uh, the straight lines. Now, uh, let me take another uh, example here. Last time I had discussed about the coordinates uh, which uh, divides the line as a midpoint and uh, another uh, situation. Now uh, I shall discuss uh, the uh, coordinates of the point which divides the line which, uh, which is divided by the plane and then what are those calculations in terms of lambda. The problem is like this. find the ratio this is in reference to the previous problem find the ratio in which the line joining the line joining the points 3 1 5 and minus 2 4 minus 3 is divided is divided by the plane x y x y plane and hence find and hence find the corresponding coordinates and hence find the corresponding coordinates. In the previous situation uh, this is second uh, type of problem which I am solving today. In the previous situation uh, directly the values in terms of the magnitudes when we draw a line for example this is A or this is B and this is A then a point which divides the line in the ratio that is m is to n means C. For example this one is x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 let this one x y z this point divides the line in the space last time I told you that any line which I hold in the space if they, these are the two ends then a point will be located anywhere in between A and B which divides the line internally then the ratio values are given in my previous lecture those values were calculated. Now if this line is divided by is divided by certain plane that plane is given as x y plane. Suppose the plane cuts like this or cuts like this or cuts like this anywhere then keeping this mathematical idea then you have to calculate the coordinates. Those coordinates are supposed to be like once again x y z. Therefore, we have uh, when ratio values are given like m is to n m equal to 1 or n equal to 2 or m equal to 2, m equal to 3 something like that. When they said that it is internally the usual formula goes for the calculation. But today this problem takes the meaning we have to calculate the ratio. When ratio was given coordinates were calculated. Now ratio is not given we have to give we are using some other uh, information in the problem. We have to find out the coordinates 
where certain plane is divided this line uh, in the ratio that is uh, to be arbitrary value. That arbitrary value is nothing but lambda is to 1. Fine. Uh, using section formula, what we do here? Section formula, let this m is to n will be taken as m by n is to 1 will be taken as lambda is to 1. Now, if you calculate lambda, it is nothing but m by n value. Okay. Therefore, let c x, y, z, let us assume this one uh, uh, cuts internally, cuts internally. Then c, x, y, z are nothing but Anyway, these points are given that is uh, 3, 1, 5 and this one minus 2, 4 and minus 3. The formula we have lambda into x 2 plus x 1 over lambda plus 1 lambda into y 2 plus y 1 divided by lambda plus 1 lambda into z 2 plus z 1 divided by lambda plus 1. Simply substitute these numbers that is 3 times 3 times lambda plus 3 times lambda that is lambda into x 2 sorry this must be 2 times lambda because next point then uh, this is x 1 means 3 divided by lambda plus 1 comma lambda into y 2 that is 4 times lambda plus uh, that is 1 because y 1 is 1, then lambda plus 1, then lambda into z 2 means minus 3 uh, lambda and plus 5 divided by it is lambda plus 1. So, we do not know the value of uh, lambda, now it is to be calculated in particular, fine. Another information is given that point is divided, that means the line is divided by the x y plane. When, when the line means a b is divided by x y plane, is divided by x y plane. What exactly you mean by x y plane? That means, for example, this wall, that wall is one plane as I told you and this wall is another plane and the ceiling is one more plane. If you take that corner as the right handed screw system, therefore, suppose the line I, I represent in the space in this direction or in this direction or in this direction. Suppose I take this line, the point that means any plane. For example, if I put this line in this one, in this wall, then this is one <coughs> plane formed by the x, x axis and then y axis for example, if it is x axis and y axis. Now, I will pass through this line uh, uh, through this wall therefore, the line is uh, intersected by this plane x y plane that means easily you can make out in the in this case when x y plane it passes it cuts means this value this value anyway as you know this is for x and this is for y and this is for z when it cuts by the x y plane obviously this value must be equal to 0 therefore therefore minus 3 lambda plus 5 divided by lambda plus 1 equal to 0 that means z value is equal to 0 why because it is obvious uh, when it is intersected by the xy plane on the xy plane z value is 0 on the zx plane y value is 0 on the x and z value uh, y value is 0 and y and z x value is 0. This is uh, quite common because as you know from the basic geometry on the x axis y value is 0, on the y axis uh, x value is 0. Similarly, in the uh, three dimensional case also on the z axis x is 0 and then y is 0. Therefore, this term can be equated to 0. This gives minus 3 lambda plus 5 equal to 0 by the cross multiplication of this denominator right to the right side number as 0. Therefore, minus 3 lambda plus 5 is equal to 0, then lambda is equal to it should be 5 by 3. This is what your uh, target uh, 
uh, the value is to be calculated. Therefore, this ratio is to be taken as lambda is to 1 should be it is 5 by 3 is to 1. 5 by 3 is to 1 is nothing but m by n is to 1 then m equal to 5 and then n equal to 3. That means here 5 units and here 3 units the length is it is not the midpoint it is not the midpoint the ratio uh, goes like this a point or uh, that plane divides the line uh, by the intersection with this line means 5 units one side and then 3 units another side that means if it is totally 8 units because as the calculation says 5 plus 3 8 units that means through this wall through this wall if I insert this stick if I insert this stick 3 units one side and 5 units on the opposite side of that intersection that is the ratio for the unknown uh, uh, ratio is not given for the un, uh, calculation unknown ratio you have to take this is for known ratio and this is for unknown ratio this is uh, the another uh, situation which I which we have discussed now the next uh, example to prove that <coughs> Next example prove that uh, 3 points P Q R prove that 3 points P Q R whose coordinates are 3 to minus 4, 3 to minus 4, 5, 4, minus 6 and uh, 3 points 9, 8, 10 are collinear respectively uh, respectively are collinear and find the ratio in which the point Q divides uh, the line P R. Here are some interesting result I would like to give what the statement says according to that statement you have to write the solution is the solution takes like this if at all three points are supposed to be uh, on the line are said to be collinear we know the formula to be satisfied for those given points as straight away I will go for the solution because the statement is like that prove that three points three points PQ or whose coordinates that means first point let me take if P takes 3 to 4 uh, minus 4 3 to minus 4 comma Q that is 5 4 minus 6 and R that is 9 8 minus 10 these are the given three points what we have to say collinear collinear means it, it it is like this so three points means <coughs> one point on one line another point on another line that means all the three lines like not necessarily not necessarily uh, uh, first condition is parallel another condition is uh, no, irrespective of their initial point for example if I take the reference of first to two points for example this will move like this okay like this uh, otherwise it will move like this therefore they are say, they are in the same direction whether in the backward direction or in the forward direction suppose I take one more stick uh, then uh, because three points are given each point on the line we will take all the three lines are moving in the same direction but irrespective of the initial point so these two lines like this and one more like this will be but anyway all the three points must be on the same line therefore the condition what is the mathematical condition you are going to derive when these three points are said to be collinear the condition is like this uh, x2 minus x1 divided by x3 minus x2 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by y3 minus y2 is equal to z2 minus z1 divided by it is z3 minus z2 from where we got where we got this uh, formula this is already derived in uh, two dimensional case and only another term is extended of course except this part it is already studied in the earlier syllabus and uh, we are extending one more uh, term for uh, representing in the three dimensional situation so according to this according to this x2 means 4 4 minus 2 x3 that means 9 9 minus x3 minus x2 that is 4 9 minus 4 
x3, x3 means 9, sorry, 9 minus 5. This is x2, fine. Next, y2 minus y1. y2 means this one, 4, minus y1 is 2, and divided by y3 minus y2, 8, and then minus 4. Then z2 means minus 6, then z1, it is minus of minus 4, then uh, that is okay. Then z3 minus z2, z3 is minus 10 and minus z2, that is, uh, I am sorry, this is minus 6, minus 6, okay. So, let me calculate this. 2 divided by 4 is equal to 4 minus 2 divided by 4, this is equal to minus 6 and then plus 4, that is equal to minus, uh, minus 6 means that is 2 and minus 10 plus 6 should be 4 with minus sign. Therefore, 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to minus minus, you can cancel and then this becomes 1 by 2. What exactly your conclusion is this? is this. So, collinear means this quantity magnitude wise this is 1 by 2, this quantity is also 1 by 2 and this quantity is also 1 by 2. If this condition satisfies all the three points are uh, in the same direction we call it as collinear right. Then another one uh, if uh, uh, find the ratio in which the point Q divides uh, Q divides the line P R for example, these three these three points that is P, that is Q, that is R. For example, dividing the line P R, therefore, I have to write here Q, then R according to the statement, fine. That is P, so that 3 to minus 4 and R 9 8 that is minus 10 and this one 5 4 minus 6. Statement says like this, uh, find the ratio in which uh, the point Q divides uh, P R. Then Q divides P R means, uh, we have to compare uh, uh, once again uh, just like similar to the previous problem, fine. Q divides this one. So, for example, you assume these are the coordinates we do not know, just like that arbitrary values, then in general you can write it as x comma y comma z. So, as we discussed in the previous problem in terms of the ratio like uh, lambda is to 1, I will I shall write using section formula once again, that is q means q x y z I will represent q x y z is equal to therefore, uh, lambda into x2 that that must be lambda is to 1 is the ratio then lambda into x2 means 9 lambda plus 3 divided by lambda plus uh, 1 lambda plus 1 okay plus of uh, sorry next point that is 8 times lambda plus 2 divided by lambda plus 1 and another one minus 10 lambda minus 4 divided by lambda plus 1. The statement says, uh, this q divides the line p r, for example, in the ratio lambda is to 1. Now, already values are given. In the previous problem, what we did? We calculated the value of lambda and then uh, using those that number, that is a, a ratio and we were able to calculate the coordinates. Now, already coordinates are given. For example, any one you can take. So, this is representing number 5 and this is representing number 4 and this is representing number minus 6. Any one you take, so that you can calculate the value of lambda. Therefore, comparing with this, already numbers are given, uh, implies 9 lambda plus 3 divided by lambda plus 1 is equal to 5. Then, uh, taking cross multiplication that should be 9 lambda plus 3 is equal to 5 lambda plus 5. Then should be 9 lambda if you take this side that is 4 lambda and 3 if you send it to the other side that is 2 then lambda is equal to 1 by 2. So, 
lambda is equal to 1 by 2 is our uh, uh, required uh, calculated value uh, for the general ratio that is lambda is to 1. Now, uh, what you have to calculate? Find the ratio in which q divides this one. Ratio means lambda is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, required ratio required ratio is equal to lambda is to 1 is equal to half is to 1 half is to 1 that is our calculation right. So, this is uh, the two things uh, uh, I mean which are the calculated values uh, for this problem. <coughs> Next uh, situation I take to calculate the angle. Here that problem I have mentioned in the exercise, but uh, all these problems you have to practice. The next uh, simple statement goes like this, but it is quite interesting uh, calculation happens. A straight line. A straight line is inclined, a straight line is inclined to the axis to the axis y and z at 45 degree and and 60 degree, comma find the inclination inclination to the x axis to the x axis. You see the interesting result which I am going to give here the uh, another uh, type of the problem because all the varieties of the problems which you have to cover in the first chapter. Having understood these things thoroughly you will become perfect you will become perfect in, so in the calculation in the use of all these basic definitions then that means you are equipped to study the next two chapters like uh, uh, concepts on plane and concepts on straight line. That means plane in different varieties and straight line in different types and what are the intersection of the straight lines and intersection of the planes and all those things. So, to study all those things we need all these fundamentals to be and you must become so strong in these things then only you can do the rest of the things carefully. Now, a straight line is inclined to the axis y and z at 45 degree and then 60 degree uh, inclined to the axis ok. Find the uh, inclination to the x axis that means it goes like this. Suppose I take the straight line like O p this is x this is y and this is z fine. Initially what I told in my one of the previous classes this line O p makes the angle with the x axis as alpha with the y axis as beta and with the z axis as gamma. Then to see the inclination I have shown in the in one of the previous classes like this when it, it happens otherwise this is right handed screw system from here I, I hold the stick. So, this stick I can move anywhere. I can move anywhere, but the values are given it makes the inclination with uh, y axis and z axis it uh, and the inclination to the with respect to x axis is to be calculated that is not given, but other two values are given out of three values because if I take this line like this with that ceiling how much angle with that wall how much angle and with this wall how much angle otherwise if I stay if I take this one from the bottom the floor and then this wall and the, this wall will meet at one point here. Suppose I draw this line now this line I can move this line I can move anywhere like this and like this and then like this. So, uh, this makes the angle with x axis and uh, sorry with y axis and z axis respectively as 45 degree and then 60 degree. So, what I have to represent with y axis means beta is equal to 45 degree and with z axis gamma is equal to 60 degree. Now, you have to calculate the value of alpha that is fixed because it has the inclination at 45 degree from y axis and 60 degree from z axis. If that is the case, 
if that is the case what is the angle it makes with x axis. So, uh, the corresponding formula relating to all these three basically I have given in one of the previous classes that is L square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1. This formula already I have derived in my one of the previous classes. What exactly you mean by this? Sum of the squares of the uh, direction cosines is always unity. That means L square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1. You mean L is equal to cos alpha, m is equal to cos beta and then n is equal to cos of gamma. Substitute here cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1. Therefore, you substitute the given values and see that the uh, statement uh, is in the question is with respect to x axis. Now, with respect to y axis you have to substitute cos square alpha plus cos square 45 degree plus cos square it is 60 degree is equal to 1. Therefore, cos square alpha plus of cos square 45. What, what do you uh, mean by these values? They are the angles, but you have to write the numerical value. So, you know that what is cos 45 and then cos of 60. The table which you, are, you must be familiar that is uh, 0, uh, 30, uh, 45, 60 and then 90 because for all the other cases I am going to use these values. Let us let this table be uh, in the continuous touch to the study of other values like sin theta, cos theta, tan theta like other functions. Okay. Then like this you know all these calculations, but you can develop for the other trigonometric functions also. Now, what is this angle and this is trigonometric function T f right sin 0 is 0 this is 1 by 2 this is 1 by root 2 uh, this must be root 3 by 2 and then 1 therefore, for cos function reverse order 1 it is root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 <coughs> 1 by 2 and then 0 for tan function easily you can make out sin by cos sin by cos means that is 0 by 1 tan 0 is 0 like that you can develop other values presently I need for this problem what is cos 45. So, cos 45 is 1 by root 2 I will substitute here that is cos square 45 means 1 by root 2 should be made as whole square because only cos to the power first degree that is equal to 1 by root 2 whereas, cos square is there you have to make this value as whole, whole square plus cos 60 cos 60 is 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 whole square is equal to 1 it is quite simple uh, only alpha value is to be separated that is cos square alpha plus of this should be 1 by 2 on making square of this plus of 1 by 4 is equal to 1. Therefore, cos square alpha is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 minus it is 1 by 4. What is the simplification? This gives uh, 4 minus 2 minus 1 divided by this one. So, that 1 by 4. What the calculation says? Cos square alpha is equal to 1 by 4 then cos alpha is equal to plus minus uh, square root of 1 by 4. Uh, cos alpha is equal to plus minus square root of 1 by 4 it gives that is plus minus 1 by 2 this should be cos alpha. So, uh, vectorial angle that makes vectorial angle that makes it gives two values any one case you take and then proceed with that cos alpha is equal to let us take plus sign that is 1 by 2 then you have to calculate what is the angle. So, uh, two, uh, two angles are given here like this two angles are given and one more angle you have to calculate that one more angle is nothing but alpha that line makes the angle with x axis what value that is to be calculated alpha is equal to cos inverse it is 1 by 2. You see the table cos inverse of 1 by 2 that must be cos inverse of 1 by 2 means actually cos of what value is equal to 1 by 2 then uh, its inverse will be in the opposite meaning 
right cos of 60 is equal to 1 by 2 right cos inverse of 1 by 2 is equal to 60 degree that should be alpha is equal to this is the value 60 degree we are getting therefore therefore when beta is equal to 45 and gamma is equal to 60 then alpha is equal to calculated value this must be 60 degree therefore when I hold this line which makes the angle 45 degree and then 60 degree respectively with respect to uh, y and z axis then the angle made with respect to x axis should be 60 degree. So, whatever the angle makes with the z axis will be the same value with respect to x axis. So, that is the numerical calculation alpha is equal to 60 degree. So, that is one situation we had. Now, I will go for uh, the very very important uh, next problem the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular. Now, this is another very interesting situation and uh, these things will come some uh, will come as uh, uh, application uh, situations where you can move the foot of the perpendicular when some point is given with respect to that point you have to calculate its uh, coordinates where we uh, represent that as a foot of the perpendicular fine. The next example goes. Uh, find the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular. The problem is like this. Find the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular from the point 1 comma 2 comma 3 on the line journey 1 3 7 and 4 3 10. Of course, numericals may be uh, in any form, but the meaning of the uh, problem if you understand it so happens in uh, mathematics whether it is a uh, uh, in any stage like uh, high school level uh, even 10th class 11th class 12th class level and then presently what you are studying as engineering whatever wherever it it may be like it is a basic term, basic term, uh, just like mother tongue some basic ideas of every chapter you must be thorough you must be very strong enough in uh, remembering and then applying that one now this problem says uh, find the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular from that is 1 2 3 on the line joining that is 1 3 7 and 4 3 10. Uh, the solution goes like this uh, with if I write the diagram for example, if I represent a b c and then d. Now, coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular it will go like this we have one line like this one line like this and these are the values given line joining that is 1 3 7 and 4 3 10 let me represent 1 3 7 and 4 3 10 are the given points right. So, this line has this line has the points like this left side and right side this line has the points and we have to find out what are the coordinates here uh, with respect to the foot of the perpendicular foot means bottom bottom. So, this point this line which is which should be perpendicular which can be moved anywhere like this on the line therefore, what are the coordinates at the bottom when it when it intersects the uh, horizontal line this is vertical line this is horizontal line horizontal line end points are given and vertical line end points also given those end points are nothing but 1 2 3 they are the coordinates of 1 2 3. So, where what we call it as foot bottom foot of the perpendicular this one. So, anywhere you move what are its coordinates that is all then uh, you are given uh, all these uh, details like uh, coordinates of those end points and coordinates with respect to that one ok. For example, this is the floor where I am standing for example, uh, if you consider uh, my head the top of my head here the it is represented by the coordinates 1 comma 2 comma 3 on my right side and left side those points are given. So, that I can move anywhere like this left side or I can move to the right side where uh, my feet touches uh, this uh, floor then what are the coordinates using this uh, given uh, given set of points that is to be calculated. What we use here the geometry the basic geometry what we use here. So, we will represent uh, the coordinates uh, of the uh, foot of the perpendicular by means of x y z 
uh, arbitrary values we do not know these values are to be calculated right. Then between this set and between this set you have to form that is direction cosines actually direction ratios or direction cosines then you can use the condition when these two lines are perpendicular when these two lines are perpendicular then that means these two lines are perpendicular then we have the condition that cos theta is equal to sum of the product of the direction cosines that is equal to 0 because the angle theta is equal to 90 degree which happens to be the verti uh, between the vertical line and the horizontal line therefore 1 3 7 and 4 3 10 what are the direction ratios and direction ratios here first of all you have to fix this uh, x y z in terms of uh, uh, section formula values then uh, 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 represent the direction ratios when set of two points are given already this I had explained in one of the previous classes as a theoretical point of view uh, just difference between two sets of points will be the proportional direction cosines we call them as direction ratios in the theory that is the probably that was the last uh, concept I had given. So now I will apply for this one uh, what I am taking is let d x y z be the foot of the perpendicular with the coordinates means x y z as coordinates I hope this gives complete information this is the foot means this is the point this is the foot of the perpendicular d has the coordinates x y z okay let me use section formula for this because uh, this point now I, uh, you forget about that the point D divides the line AB in the ratio lambda is to 1 actually it divides in the ratio m is to m is to n. So where we do not use that m is to n means where the ratio is to be calculated if ratio values are given we are we are going to use uh, uh, the uh, notations as m is to n when those values are not given we used to have or we used to include lambda is to 1 in our calculation fine. So uh, this D divides divides AB AB in the ratio in the ratio lambda is to 1 internally then you write the coordinates x y z using the section formula then x y z with respect to this lambda is to 1 I am writing lambda into x 2 plus x 1 over lambda plus 1 lambda into y 2 plus y 1 divided by lambda plus 1 lambda into z 2 plus z 1 divided by lambda plus 1 accordingly. I will make use of these two sets of points. So, 4 into lambda plus 1 divided by lambda plus 1, 4 and 1 I am writing next 3 and 3 uh, that is uh, 3 that is uh, 3 uh, means here also 3 is there 3 lambda plus 3 over lambda plus 1 next is 10 lambda plus 7 divided by lambda plus 1. 1 they are the coordinates here they are the coordinates now I will go for uh, direction uh, ratios direction ratios then these are the coordinates for the foot of the perpendicular x y z that is d of because I have taken d as the foot of the perpendicular fine when these are the coordinates now uh, I, I will make use I will make use the formula uh, cos theta is equal to L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2 here direction cosines though I am not able to write but in place of direction cosines I am going to use direction ratios because whenever two lines are perpendicular whenever two lines are perpendicular uh, some of the product of the direction cosines will be similar to some of the product of the direction ratios I am moving anywhere like this okay then L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2 is the same as A1 A2 plus B1 B2 plus C1 C2 is equal to 0 because cos 90 is equal to 0. So using that concept uh, we uh, uh, denominator goes for the multiplication fine 
uh, what I am going to write is these are the coordinates, these are the coordinates, these are the coordinates, these are the coordinates. All the four points now presently you have the coordinates. Now I will go for direction ratios. Now drs of AB are drs means direction ratios. Direction ratios, what, what do you mean by that? Direction ratios are nothing but proportional direction cosines. They are also the numerical values which represent the positive direction of your line which makes the angles cos uh, which makes the angles that is alpha, beta, gamma with respect to the coordinate axis. So, they will be represented that line will be represented that line will be represented with the angles either by means of direction cosines or by means of direction ratios. If it is direction cosines you will represent that one as L M N. If it is in terms of direction ratios you will represent in terms of A B C. So, presently I am going to take the help of A B C here those A B C values I am going to write. Uh, now, direction ratios uh, of the line A B means I have given the formula in one of the previous classes any straight line which passes through two given points then the direction ratios uh, with reference to those two points are to be given as x2 minus x1 is for the value of A and y2 minus y1 is the value for B and z2 minus z1 is the value for C. So, in that sense if I write there is 4 minus that means uh, A1 for example B1 and then C1 because two sets I am going to write. So, only uh, 1 2 3 I am going uh, 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 1 1 1 and then 2 2 2 like that I am going to substitute okay, as suffixes then 4 minus 1 first value next 3 minus 3 second value and 10 minus 7 this is the third value. Therefore, on simplification this comes to be 3 0 and then 3 these are the direction cosine or uh, direction ratios with uh, reference to the line A B, A B in terms of the symbols A 1 B 1 C 1. Similarly, D R's of D R's of this is C and D. Now, I take the reference C already given uh, values are given coordinates of uh, that point already given in the statement and the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular in terms of section formula we have calculated. So, uh, it goes like this next point minus of previous point. Next point if you consider this section formula values then you can consider minus 1 with the first number, minus 2 with the second number and minus 3 with the third one. Therefore, I must write uh, drs of uh, C D are equivalent to A 2, B 2 and then C 2 are nothing but are nothing but 4 lambda plus 1 over lambda plus 1 it is minus 1, 3 lambda plus 3 over lambda plus 1 uh, minus of 2, then 10 lambda plus 7 divided by lambda plus 1 and then minus 3. So, these are the so 3 sets of values. Re you remember whenever we solve this type of problems with the different numericals or different type of uh, a small change in the statement procedure is same. This is uh, one of the important situations where you have to remember. Uh, first you have to set the coordinates by means of section formula, then you take the direction ratios between these two points, then you take direction ratios between these two points, then apply the condition when the line is perpendicular, vertical line is vertical line is per per perpendicular to the baseline. Therefore, the bottom where it touches this baseline will give the coordinates we call it as uh, we call them as coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular. Then these are the direction ratios fine or uh, according to the condition according to the condition the line C D the line C D is perpendicular to this one then the line C D is perpendicular to <coughs> A B. Then cos theta in terms of these direction ratios cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to A 1 A 2 plus B 1 B 2 
plus C1 C2 divided by divided by sum of the squares of this one. That means A1 square plus B1 square plus C1 square that is sigma actually sigma actually square root of A2 square plus B2 square plus it is C2 square. Then you have to do like this. So, when it is uh, perpendicular the case is like this you will take this one as cos of 90 degree because because the angle the angle this should be 90 degree the angle should be 90 degree cos 90 degree the answer is cos 90 from the table is this one is 0 because uh, opposite value of that sign. Now, A 1 A 2 plus B 1 B 2 plus C 1 C 2 equal to 0 because when it is 0 all this denominator will go as multiplication to 0. Therefore, A 1 A 2 means here these are the values A 1 B 1 C 1 A 2 B 2 C 2. You have to write the product of these values that is 4 lambda plus 1 divided by lambda plus 1 minus 1 this value into into 3 that is first first uh, term next term will be plus of plus of second term that is 3 lambda plus 3 by lambda plus 1 minus 2 into 0 into 0 and one more that is 10 lambda plus 7 divided by lambda plus 1 this is plus sign minus 3 this value multiplied by another 3 this should be equated to 0 because sum of the product of the direction ratios is equal to 0. Therefore, when it is multiplied to 0 means this term becomes 0 then first term you have to calculate. So, this becomes 4 lambda take the LCM of this 4 lambda plus 1 minus lambda minus 1 divided by lambda plus 1 go to the last term plus of 10 lambda plus 7 minus 3 lambda minus 3 divided by lambda plus 1 is equal to 0. I think uh, outside you have to multiply by 3 then outside you have to multiply by 3 this one uh, because I have taken only the LCM. So, this is 3 you can cancel because it is common and lambda plus 1 you are sending sending to the right side then 4 lambda uh, <coughs> plus <coughs> plus 1 minus lambda minus 1 plus of 10 lambda plus 7 minus 3 lambda minus 3 equal to 0 then comes 4 lambda minus lambda means uh, 3 lambda and this one 13 lambda 13 means 10 lambda you get and finally, 10 lambda and this plus 1 minus 1 will cancel and uh, plus 7 minus 3 means this must be minus uh, sorry plus of 4 that is equal to 0 that is the calculation that is 10 lambda plus 4 is equal to 0 plus 4 equal to 0 then lambda is equal to minus 4 by 10 minus 2 by minus 2 by 5. Therefore, lambda is to 1 when it uh, uh, it is divided by the point that is d in the ratio that is lambda is to 1 means minus 2 by 5 is to 1. So, that is the ratio you are you are getting. Now, according to the section formula substitute that value and then get the coordinates. So, that lambda is to 1 is equal to minus 2 by 5 and then is to 1 therefore required therefore required coordinates required coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular required coordinates of d x comma y comma z means at this point uh, lambda is equal to minus 2 by 5. So, calculated values in that sense if you calculate uh, by putting uh,
by introducing the value of lambda is equal to lambda is equal to minus 2 by 5 then we will be able to get that means so, so using section formula and then you are going to substitute that is uh, the 13137 three here then lambda into 1 that means lambda is equal to minus 2 by 5 you are getting the values minus 135 these values. So, d x comma y comma z are equivalent to minus 1 3 and then 5 this is the final calculation that means when a line is perpendicular to the baseline coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular you need to calculate the direction ratios of the horizontal line the direction ratios of the vertical line by representing the values uh, arbitrary values x y z as coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular okay then we apply the condition that is when the line is perpendicular to this one cos 90 is equal to 0 then sum of the product of the direction ratios is also 0 with the help of that you are able to calculate the value of lambda and substituting back that value of the lambda is equal to uh, minus 2 by 5 you are able to get minus 1 3 5. So, with this you can verify the calculations, but uh, the procedure first of all you have to stick to the procedure uh, what uh, type of uh, simplifications we are going to use with this. Uh, uh, I would like to conclude today then uh, if there are any questions uh, uh, you are free to ask I will uh, clarify that.